How's it going? Armor Genie here. Welcome to another video. My amazing family got me a new microphone, so hopefully the audio quality has improved a little for this one. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set a custom field of view, or FOV, in Star Citizen. By default, Star Citizen limits you to a fairly narrow range of FOV settings that is based on your aspect ratio. This can be annoying for a few reasons. First, if you have an extreme multi-monitor or ultra-wide setup, you might find the default range too low, leading to a very zoomed-in feeling. For more modest ultra-wide setups, you may have the opposite problem and want to set a lower FOV than the minimum values in order to minimize the fisheye distortion or counteract some motion sickness. Lastly, like my friend Batty McBad, you might just enjoy living in a fishbowl with a crazy wide field of view on your 16x9 monitor. Personally, I enjoy about 130 degree field of view for my PLP monitor setup, which is just below the 140 degree minimum on the slider. Okay, there's two ways to do this. I'll start with the basics of how this works and how to change the setting manually. Then I'll go over a little project that I worked on to automate the process. Whenever you change your FOV slider in the game settings, it writes a value to an XML file in the user folder. Go to wherever your game is installed, for me that's just C, Star Citizen, and Live for Live or PTU for PTU. Then go to User, Client, Zero, Profiles, Default. Right click on Attributes.xml and open in your favorite text editor. For me that's Notepad++, but regular Notepad should work just fine. Search for FOV. You'll see a value there, but it probably won't be what you're expecting. I've seen some other guides that tell you to just play with this number until your FOV looks about right in game. That will definitely work, but I wanted to go a step further. Horizontal FOV is what we normally think about when we're talking about FOV in gaming. I eventually figured out that the FOV value in the XML is actually vertical FOV, which, confusingly, Star Citizen sets based on your desired horizontal FOV in the game options. This is good news though, as it means that you can now set the exact horizontal FOV we want just by calculating the corresponding vertical FOV first. The easiest way to do this is to go to the calculator at the first link in the description and then enter your information. If you don't know your aspect ratio, just put in your resolution. For my setup, that'll be 4720 by 1440. Now enter your desired horizontal FOV, 130 for me. Take the vertical FOV that it calculates for you and replace the number in the attributes.xml file. Congrats, you just set your FOV. Two important notes. First, the math for calculating vertical FOV from horizontal FOV relies heavily on your aspect ratio, so make sure you enter the game aspect ratio or resolution numbers correctly. Second, the slider in the game options won't reflect your change if it's outside the default range. Also, if you touch that slider, it will override whatever you set manually. All right, onto the FOV tool that does all this for you. I figured out the trigonometry to calculate the vertical FOV given the horizontal FOV and aspect ratio. Then I decided to use this as a learning opportunity and taught myself the basics of C++ coding to write my first ever Windows application. You can find it in the GitHub link in the description. Just download the latest version of the EXE and run it. Windows will probably warn you that it protected your PC because I'm obviously not a big time developer, but you can just click more info and then run anyway. And it will trust the app after that. If you're nervous about the program, the entire source code is in the GitHub repo for anyone to check over. If you're an experienced developer, please let me know if you see anything dangerous, um, but I promise it's not my intention. On that note, I'll take any coding feedback I can get. But like I said, this is my first time, so yeah, be kind. Once you run the program, it's pretty self-explanatory. It will ask if you want to change the default path to the game, then ask if you would like to use an aspect ratio other than 16 by 9. If you're using a different aspect ratio, you only need to know your resolution as the program will calculate a decimal aspect ratio for you. It will then calculate the maximum horizontal FOV that it can set for you. Enter your desired FOV within the given range. The program then reads the attributes.xml file line by line from your Star Citizen directory and retrieves the FOV line. It edits that line and writes the new XML file to the folder where you have the exe saved. Then it'll ask if you want to copy the new attributes.xml file that it just made into the game directory and overwrite the old one. If you say no here, you'll have to copy the file into the game directory yourself. It's up to you if you want to do this or not, but for the very first run, I would probably recommend looking at the new file before overriding the game settings, just to make sure everything's working right on your system. As long as the new file looks just like the pre-existing one, obviously with the exception of the FOV setting, you should be good to go for subsequent runs. I still have some ideas for things I want to add to the program, so keep an eye on the GitHub for updates. Alright, that's it. I hope you found this useful. Like if you liked it, subscribe for more, and until next time, 